Hey everyone, it's Robert Hall, and today I'm going to do a short video that is in response to a question that I'm seeing quite often concerning the Godox ADB2. The ADB2 is a rather unique accessory that allows you to take two Godox 8200s and combine them into a single Bowens mount head using two of the 8200 bare bulbs. The idea is pretty simple. You can take two 8200 power packs, combine them, and have a single 400 watt light source, and then put a softbox in front of it, and that's going to get rid of any of the negatives of using two light sources so close together. Now, I've made dedicated videos on this accessory and even to this day I think it's an awesome accessory because it allows you to get into two 8200s for portable work but then still have the opportunity to combine them for a single 400 watt for use in more power demanding situations. But since it originally came out the 8200 Pro was released which is what seems to be causing so many questions. The first question I get is is the ADB2 compatible with the 8200 Pro? And yes it is compatible. One of the fantastic things about the 8200 Pro is they change nothing in terms of heads. So the original bare bulb, Fresnel head, and H200R round head all work with this as well as accessories such as the ADB2, which is the dual head adapter that we're talking about, and the EC200 extension head. All of those work with the 8200 Pro. The second question I get is do you lose any of the benefits of the 8200 Pro such as the improved color stability or the improved recycle speed? The answer to that is no. You do not lose any benefits of the 8200 Pro when using it with the ADB2 despite the fact that the ADB2 was originally designed for the 8200. To understand this better, just know that the ADB2 is a rather simple device in that all it's really doing is repositioning the bulbs. All the recycling and color stability, that's all determined by the pack that you put on the back. So whether that's the 8200 or the 8200 Pro, all those specs are going to translate accordingly. Now, the most frequent question I get about this is, can you use a single 8200 and a single 8200 Pro? And will there be any issues if you decide to do that? So for the first part, yes, you can absolutely use one 8200 and one 8200 Pro with the ADB2. It's going to function fine. It's going to flash and there's no weirdness. You do it just like you would two of the same unit. You put them in the same group and they're going to fire together at the same time. As for any issues, the one thing I can think of is that your recycle speed and your color stability do not exactly match. One improvement of the 8200 Pro is its recycle speed. It recycles a little bit faster than the original 8200. The most standard use of the ADB2 is to put two 8200s or 8200 Pros on them, put them in the same group, and then they would be at the same identical power level. And when you do that, they're going to have slightly different recycling speeds, which means one bulb would actually recycle faster than the other. The 8200 Pro is always going to recycle first. But I don't think this is a really significant issue. At most, this difference is going to be 0.3 seconds, but that is because at full power, the original 8200 has a 2.1 second cycle time and at full power the 8200 Pro has a 1.8 second recycle time. So you will see about three tenths of a second in recycle difference when using them both at full power. But once you get down to half power that's pretty much cut in half so you're only seeing about 0.15 seconds difference in recycle time and as you go lower the difference is going to be decreased even more. I think the best way to get around this issue is if you use the audible beep so that you know when the flash is fully recycled to keep that active on the 8200 but turn it off on the 8200 Pro. This way there will be an audible beep when the 8200 is ready and since the 8200 Pro is always faster at recycling than the original 8200, you'll know that the 8200 Pro is ready as well. And the only other issue that can possibly exist is that the 8200 Pro has a color stable mode whereas the 8200 does not. This color stable mode on the 8200 Pro will tighten up the color tolerances as you go across the power range. So I would just recommend leaving that off so that the two flashes both have the same amount of color drift. So at least least you're not creating any color imbalance between the two bare bulbs. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. If you have any other questions about the Godox products, then go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. And until next time, keep on shooting.